So Karen, you're with the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County and we just came from a session where you and others were talking about uh, the difficulty of natural history museums making change. Uh, difficulty in terms of how the public perceives you, difficulty in how the board is you know, sort of dealing with change and stuff. And one of the comments you made that I wanted you to comment on now was the idea that Natural history museums are relevant for one reason that you've got the evidence around some of the really important issues of the day. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Right. Well, the entire history of the planet is about changes in the geology, plate tectonics, and the establishment and constant change of climate, long term warming and cooling of the planet and the evolution of life on Earth all being related to that and the generation and the creation of all of the rocks and minerals. So everything that's in the news today about all these big words that have been turned into politic, into political work, um, phrases and flashpoints is really to us science. Climate change, earthquakes, uh, disasters, mass extinctions, global warming, all of these things are in all of our exhibits already. It's just that we didn't necessarily used to organize our exhibits so that we were talking about these, these big issues in the history of, of the Earth and life on it. So for us, when we were building our Age of Mammals exhibit, the, the entire exhibit, the theme of it is plate tectonics, that is, continents move. They establish the um, climate change, the, the, the movement of the plates is establishing the ice age, the, the Pleistocene cycles of cooling and warming, and then mammals evolve, because of course they're evolving in these settings. So this entire uh, linked set of processes can be seen played out in all of these uh, fossil mammals, and for us in LA, fossil mammals that come right from the La Brea Tar Pits. So we're talking about the evidence for, for the history of life on Earth and these major things that people are concerned about today and how they have this huge time depth. We don't think that we can really understand what's happening today in terms of climate change without understanding the background, the historic background and the paleontological background. And how, does the, how is the public responding to that kind of message delivered that way? Well, as publics do who go to museums, everybody takes something different away. People are having a fantastic time with the specimens. The number one thing that our visitors come to do is see the real thing. It's our first FAQ is to see the real thing. They get, they get excited by a specimen. Then they think, okay, then they, then they are interested in, did that specimen really walk around in Los Angeles? And then, why did it die? So, they're interested in the stories of the individual creatures. Uh, we do have a final section that is about what's going on today, and um, it's sort of anchored by a taxidermy polar bear. And people are really spending a lot of time with it. When we do our studies of who's looking at what, it's one of the most visited specimens. So that people are taking away that message of there's big changes going on, and humans are influencing those big changes, and it's in the context of all of this. So I think, by and large, our visitors love it. Of course, not all of them get it. Um, but, uh, but the ones that are, that are really paying attention to that as opposed you know, to the whole exhibit as opposed to lo just looking at specimens that they're most interested in are really liking it a lot. And you mentioned a, uh, an ad campaign. Can you tell us a bit about that? Um, well, we had, we, I, it's really this fabulous ad campaign that we all love where the, they chose certain specimens. Our, our marketing communications people working with some local ad agencies chose a few of the specimens. Uh, a new mastodon, mastodon specimen that comes from a local area called Simi Valley. And they did a billboard with that specimen and called it the original Valley Girl. And then they took the Smilodon, that, that's the saber-toothed cat that is actually comes from the La Brea Tar Pitch, which is part of us. There's one on, a new one on display inside the exhibit, and they labeled it LA Native, which of course in California there aren't any, there aren't many California natives. People are, are LA Native, yeah. so all of these, and these are the two things that people come looking for right. after they've seen those ads. Great. Thanks very much for sharing that with us today. It's a pleasure. Thank okay. you for asking. Okay.